Today, the church celebrates the ascension of the Lord to his Father. And so we gather our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our risen and ascended Lord Jesus be with each of you. And with your spirit. Standing before God's word, gathered before the altar, we are mindful of our frailty, our weakness, and our sin. And we ask God for mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal and forgive those contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You nourish and strengthen us with word and sacrament. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Your messengers ask the apostles, why are you staring skyward? Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during the forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard him speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? 
he answered. It is good for you to know the time of the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Until we all attain to unity of faith and knowledge 
of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and pre preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Understanding that question is to look to Scripture and to see some of the other questions asked. In Genesis, in the account of Adam and Eve, after they had eaten from the tree of knowledge and recognized that they were naked and hid themselves from God, God asks them, Where are you? In the Gospel of John, Jesus encounters the first disciples and he asks, what are you looking for? In Mark's Gospel, Jesus asks the blind Barnabas, What do you want me to do for you? In Luke's Gospel, the angels ask the women at the tomb, Why do you search for the living among the dead? In each of these questions, there are several layers. There is the simple surface answer, What do you want me to do for you? Barnabas replies, I want to see. I am blind. I want my vision restored. The women respond to the question, Our friend Jesus was buried here, so we came to anoint his body. But each of the questions transcends the scene we presented in the scripture. The question points to some reality in the text, but extends deep into the hearts and lives of all of us. Each of the questions has some answer that burns deeper in our hearts. When God asks, where are you? Or Jesus asks, what are you looking for? No simple answer will do. When Jesus wonders, who do you say that I am? We must spend a lifetime mining our relationship with God and articulating that answer in our words and actions. So today, when the disciples are asked why they gaze skyward, we are asked why we gaze skyward. Why are we here today? What are we looking for from the ascended one? 
We joined the disciples who were assembled on that day, and we joined with multitudes of believers who continue to gaze heavenward with their prayers each and every day in the sure and certain hope that this Jesus, who is no longer physically with us, is interceding for us with his Father. Amen. Let us together make our profession of faith. Sylvia Lipsky, Mary Lois Gilman, 
Chester Jamalewski, Peter Vitelli, Madeline Carroll and Joseph Addy, Anthony and Joseph Tundo, Anna Hedke Tundo, James Clark Pritchard, and Arlene Hope Ushers, past and present. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Glory to your our prayer. Lord God, as we celebrate the ascension of your Son to your presence, we ask that he send his Holy Spirit to us to fill us and to fill the church. We ask this in his name, for he lives with you in that same Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving and almighty Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the praise and glory of His name for our good and of all of His holy church. We offer now this sacrifice, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realm. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heaven as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and humankind, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalt, sing your praise, and with heavenly powers and the whole company of saints, we sing together the unending hymn of your glory.
ability, therefore, give these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit of God like the two, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the clergy, religious, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Hope, her husband Joseph, with the Apostle, St. Germain, and St. Richard, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may be coerced to eternal life and be praised and glorified you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, so that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, and you say to us, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace to you in the words of your God, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall. celebrate divine mysteries. Grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As previously announced, this weekend, May 15-16, is the official launch of the 2021 Catholic Services Appeal campaign. Those of us who contributed to the 2020 campaign have already received information and a pledge gift card for the 2021 CSA Drive. The theme for this year's campaign is Fueling the Mission. As I reflected in my article a few weeks ago, the church I was ordained for no longer exists. Archbishop Vigneron stated it well when he said, the church then was a church of maintenance. The church now is a church on mission. We must all be involved in bringing the good news to those who have never heard it and in inviting those to return who no longer walk with us. Hence the name of the campaign, Fueling the Mission. It takes considerable resources to fuel the mission, which no single parish community is able to do alone. That is why the Archdiocese invites us in this annual campaign to pool our financial resources to provide the funds that enable the central services of the Archdiocese to provide services and programs that benefit everyone. Last week, I pointed out that for the 2020 CSA, the Archdiocese took over the mailings and paperwork, which was a great benefit to the parishes that were unable to have parish volunteers be involved because of the pandemic. For us here at Our Lady Hope, that meant we didn't have our three big items of in the social hall opportunities for you to make your gift or pledge. We aren't able to do the same for this campaign because of the ongoing limitations caused by the pandemic. Our target for CSA 2021 is just over 5,000, uh, excuse me, I wish it was 5,000. It was just over 75,000. I know that 5,000 has already been pledged, so we are already on our way. I would encourage you to prayerfully consider making a gift or pledge to this year's campaign. I have been so encouraged by your support of the parish during these difficult times. May I count on your support in reaching our target for the CSA. If you are considering a gift for the first time, I would ask that you contact Jim Weller, our business manager. His phone number and email address can be found online or can be found in our bulletin. Thank you for your support. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. May He grant that as Christ, after His resurrection,
was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself personally to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you, who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. May Almighty God continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.